Welcome. If you're unable to make our informational meeting yesterday on what your role could be in digital conversion, I'd like to share with you the PowerPoint I shared with the other teachers. Let's go ahead and get started. First, I'd like to kind of give you the 411. The district will be moving towards a digital based curriculum over the next few years and beyond. You have also been identified as one who could help us lead this conversion from the ground floor up. This is either because you are an island of brilliance and technology out there, or you're not afraid of technology, or you're a specialist in your curriculum. It could be a combination of all those reasons. But it is totally voluntary. Not the conversion, but the leading. There are going to be advantages to volunteering to lead this. When we do make decisions as far as what the device is, where we're going, when we're doing it, you will be one of the first ones to be able to have the opportunity to do that and to use whichever tools that we choose and whichever digital curriculum we find. It is also a commitment beyond a semester. We will be starting next semester with a boot camp, which I'm going to get to here really soon, but it will continue through the years. You will be part of the entire conversion process. What I really like and, and what I feel in my heart is that the district is ready to support us and trust us with this conversion. But let's take a look at phase one. In phase one is going to be from January after Christmas to the end of the school year in May. We're going to be offering a digital boot camp for all of those leaders who decide to sign on. It's going to be facilitated by Corey Dahl, Bob Hastings, and myself. We're going to focus on four main areas. We're going to be building foundation skills of a self-directed digital learner and educator. One of the things that we've noticed is that we need to help our teachers become the type of learner that we want our students to be that self-directed digital learner. They're not waiting for answers to be offered to them. They're going out and looking for the answers themselves. And they have the skills to do it. That's what we want our teachers to be able to do. That's the type of learner we want our students to be. So we will be focusing on those self-directed digital learning skills. You're also going to be focusing on using what technology we have in our district well. So many things are out there, but we haven't really had an organized effort of how is this impacting education? How can we best use it to, to enhance our curriculum? So we will be taking stock of what we have and learning how to use it well, along with a number of other free resources out there for us. We're going to focus on what digital curriculum is, not just that it's text put in a different format. We're going to be looking at all types of digital curriculum and how that applies to learning theory and how that's going to help us be more efficient and effective learners and teachers. And last, we'll want you to actively participate in conversion solution teams to make recommendations. When you're talking not only some sort of one-on-one -on -one device with students and, and a digital environment, but when you're talking about changing the curriculum, there are lots of things that we need to take a look at and solve. And the best people to do that is teaming up with teachers and administrators and students and coming up with solutions that we will then later give to the Board of Education as a recommendation and the Digital Curriculum Conversion Committee. So you will be taking part in a number of different solution teams. On with Digital Boot Camp, it will also be the beginning of our long-term cadre. This won't be your typical class where we're going to be sitting up there and wah wah wahing like Charlie Brown's teacher. We are going to be facilitating your learning. We'll be showing you how, but we're also going to be using you and your strengths and your skills to help everybody else in learning the tools of a 21st century learner. We also will have the opportunity of teaming with admin and students. Admin have been invited, invited to take part in this boot camp also. They will be a big part of our teaming. Um, and everything I'm reading with students, they are our digital natives. They see it through eyes that have not been changed. We want to make sure that we're involving them and their input as we are converting our curriculum. We'll also be offering, for those who still need credit to go over on the pay scale, three credits through Doan. 
We won't be paying for those credits, but they're offered if you need them. And in any of the other trainings we offer in the summer, next fall, you'll also have the opportunity to take those for credit. A flexible 21st century delivery model. What does that mean and why are we doing it? One, we want to practice what we want to put into play into our district, which is a flexible, on-demand 21st century learning. We will have your traditional of where we're going to meet two evenings a week, which I'll talk about in a little bit. But if you cannot make it because you're a coach or because you have family obligations or for whatever reasons, but you still want to be involved. We want to make sure that you don't miss out on this opportunity. So after we get done teaching the classes during the week, we will make sure that we have some sort of independent learning module. So you complete the coursework or the training when you want it. Again, kind of on-demand training. We're going to start it. Monday, January 17th, whether you're taking it for credit or not. We're going to meet from 5 to 8. We haven't determined the location yet, so stay tuned for that if you sign on. We will offer it two days during the week. It's going to be the same class twice. So if you can't make it Monday, you can make it on whatever other day we choose, which you'll have a say if you decide to sign on and what other day that is. We're going to do a majority rules. Phase two. So what happens after the digital boot camp? Well, hopefully by then you'll be armed with the skills needed to be a self-directed digital learner. And we're going to actually start proactively looking for curriculum out there. We're going to begin harvesting it and organizing it. We're looking at, at having a server that we organize it according to standard and that we collaborate as teachers in like subject areas. Now when we can't find curriculum, we'll look at learning how to actually create digital curriculum, which will be a lot of fun in the summer. You'll also continue the cadre model of training where we will be helping train each other. You're going to be sharing your expertise and others will be sharing it with you. We'll also continue the solution teams because there's always going to be solutions that need to be found. There's also going to be a possible tech fair at some time. Don't know if it will happen during the summer. Don't know if it will happen during the fall. But we will be asking you to help out teaming up and offering sessions to the teachers and the rest of in the district who haven't been involved thus far so that we can start getting them used to what digital curriculum is and start the training process for you and them. At this point, we're also going to be talking about forming learning webs. We're going to be using the PLCs to do this. What a learning web is, is you take your knowledge and you share it with others around you. It's not a formal training like you're used to, but it's nuggets of information. You train, you teach somebody else and then that person goes and trains somebody else. It's a learning web. We, we go off of each other's knowledge. Other things that are going to be decided in phase two and in the upcoming phase three and beyond are yet to be determined by the Board of Education, Digital Conversion Committee, and you, the cadre. But credit will be available for any courses that we offer if you still need it. Now, phase 2B um, through 3. This will be in the fall 2011 till hmm, it will never end. But this is where we actually start the conversion and implementation of what you have found. A lot of this is yet to be determined again by all of those committees. And the scope of implementation is going to be largely dependent on the funding and board approval. We will have increased training opportunities for the entire staff. I'm hoping that our learning webs are going to take care of a lot of that. And in phase three, it's all of the same. We start it back over again. Now it's time for you to think. We'd like you to take some time and think about it, but would like to know by Monday, December 13th. Let's go to that website now. When you get to the website, you're going to see a response form in the upper right-hand corner. I want you to click on that. 
Come down here and you're going to put in your name. You're also going to tell me what is your choice. Yes, you want to help lead change in our district, or no, I'm not interested at this time, or other. If yes, are you interested in college credit? Then down here, it's boot camp will be offered two days. Which other day besides Monday works for you? Choose all that apply. If all of them work for you, great, and we'll do a majority rules. Now, if you answered yes, that you want to be involved, I want you to share with me your strengths, not just in technology, but the strengths you possess as an educator. No time to be modest here. Show yourself off. Last one is let us know your questions and or concerns. We'll try, to, we'll try to answer these questions via this website or during a future meeting, which we might try to do in a web conference. When you're done, you click Submit. Thanks for viewing this podcast, and I hope it helped answer some of your questions about what your role could be in this digital conversion. If you do have any questions before you come and fill out this response form, please feel free to email me, Lisa Pospischel, um, via my school email. Hope to be hearing from you soon.